Today on Break It Down with Bordy, uh, visiting with Chance Cisco. Just came off an incredible weekend. They had the best of the season for uh, the Orioles. Chance Cisco was the catcher, caught two shutouts, and the Orioles' offense exploded. 13 runs in back-to-back -back games. And we're not talking about Cisco's catching the two shutouts. We're going to talk about his offense. He has been mashing the season. Started in spring training, and it's carried over here at the big leagues. Uh, so, Chance, you came into spring training. I think last year, kind of an off year for you, I would say, because you've had so much success throughout the organization with your bat. Um, tell us your thoughts coming into spring training and really just your mental approach. Yeah, coming into spring, kind of just wanted to reset, um, actually reset really going into the off season. Uh, I took a few weeks off and then I honestly, I started hitting a lot earlier than I typically would. Um, just trying to correct a few things that I thought I needed to. Um, and then once I once I felt good with that, I kind of took time off again, and then uh, ran back up to get ready for spring. Then came into spring, just kind of refreshed, um, hit the reset button with everything, and just went from there. Um, I've always had the same approach, really, but uh, just kind of reset some things mechanically and kind of worked well. Yeah. So. Yeah, your swing, I mean, you won a batting title at 19 years old down in uh, the Sally League in Delmarva. And I remember that year, you coming out of there, and a lot of there was a lot of talk uh, about, you know, you kind of cut yourself off a little bit. You know, you stride in towards the plate, and there was some concern that you might not be able to handle that fastball in. Well, you have just been tearing it up. It seems like that's your pitch right now. Um, the adjustment you made, was it on that inner third? Um, so the adjustment was kind of with that step. Uh, I've always crossed over a little bit. That's kind of just been a natural thing. But um, last year and maybe even the year before, it kind of got a little dramatic. Uh, it was a little more exaggerated than what was normal for me. So that was something I worked on this offseason. I opened up a little bit more to kind of help help myself not cross over so much. I still do a little bit, but that's, like I said, that's kind of just a natural thing that I've always done. So uh, in your experiences now um, and dealing with, you know, the mental side of offense, uh, I know hitting coaches have different philosophies, um, but you seem to have stuck with your approach and you have a pretty good understanding. When you hear different ideas, are you accepting of that and trying to make improvements in your game, or, or are you just going to stick with your approach? I'm always open. Um, I like hearing a lot of different things, and I like listening to different guys and what their approaches are. Um, but at the same time, I do know what I'm good at, so I... I can take certain things and use them in certain ways, or I can just go back to what I've always done. And um, I think it's a good, a good to have your own baseline with that, really, and have your own thing. Um, but it's awesome working with Howie and, and Don. They are really good with the mental side and the approach base, and just using your eyes really well. And that's that fits really well with me, and that's been something that I've always kind of done is just trust my eyes and trust what I see, trust what I see the pitcher doing and um, not read too much in, into anything else. Yeah, you know, uh, a couple of the Orioles hitters, now the whole team's really been kind of up and down in a lot of parts of the game, uh, but when the Orioles hitters go right, I'm thinking about Trey Mancini, he really stays tall, has nice strong posture, and he's real quiet in the box. Yeah. Chance, you are as quiet as anybody I've seen, and you've been consistent this whole year that I've seen you approach your at-bat. So um, is that how you control your eyes? And when you think about being quiet, what do you eliminate? I mean, is it your lower half? Is it your hands, movement? Honestly, it's just um, a mental thing, just kind of setting yourself up for success, just on, on, in the on-deck circle, in the dugout, um, just having your approach, sticking with your approach mentally. For me, that just kind of sets things up uh, for success. If I can control my breathing and my thoughts, then um, my my body movement is going to be limited like that as well. And um, like you said, I, I don't have much movement, so if I can control my breath and my thoughts, it keeps everything simple. Wow. Uh, I love that because, uh, you know, we think about this game, catching the ball, throwing, hitting, obviously. But when you get to this level, the mental game really comes into play. Chance Cisco is locked in right now, quieting the thoughts down and having tremendous success.